So for over a month now, Mommy Longlegs has been haunting the world. And you know what? That is something that I want for myself. I want to be able to haunt the world. I want to be able to strike fear in all of you guys. <laughs> So today, I'm going to be building Mommy Longlegs herself, baby. <laughs> uh, this is going to be very terrifying, and we're probably going to be scaring a lot of you guys. So uh, yeah, this is going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> No, I've actually done a couple of horror builds in the past, so I am quite well aware of how to scare people. <laughs> but I have actually never gone out of my way to make something as mechanically advanced as what we're going to be creating today. So it is going to be extremely exciting. Now, if you didn't know, Mommy Longlegs has all these very long limbs that she can stretch however far and however much she sees fit. So we're going to have to figure that out. So starting things off, we have to come up with a mechanic that actually actually allows us to do that. Now, luckily for me, in the recent past, I actually built this right here. This right here is Dr. Octavius's, uh, like, mechanical suit. You know, like, uh, it's the thing that he pretty much attached to himself to kill Spider-Man. <laughs> but I have a feeling that I can actually rework this mechanic into something way, way crazier. So that is exactly what we're gonna do. Now, if you're looking right here, all we've done with this part so far is actually just a bunch of servos attached to each other. Now, guys, what that actually does, though, it gives you these extremely flexible little arms right here. Now, as you can see, there's a long, long range of movement in there. Great for grabbing people. <laughs> so, yeah, guys, this right here is going to be the actual, like, base of what we're going to be working from. Now, in its current state, it kind of sucks because uh, it doesn't really look like what we're building here, let's be honest. <laughs> so, we're going to have to customize things a bit. So, that right there is one of the arms, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate it to be much more like that on a 45 degree angle. That way it looks, at least to me, much more like an actual arm. A little bit more outwards. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, that's the stuff right there. Yeah, okay. This is starting to turn out actually like really, really sick. Um, gonna have to do quite a bit of stuff here though, because currently we only got one arm. So that makes two. Now that right there is starting to look like it's bad. Oh my God. It appears to me it is that time for a paint coat. <laughs> okay, we gotta keep the fingers a different color. You know, they gotta stand out. <laughs> Oh my god, dude, this is so cool. All right, time to move everything into place. Oh, <laughs> dude, okay, very crooked right now. Definitely messed that part up. All right, baby, there it is. That is looking perfectly straight and honestly, super freaking creepy. All right then, guys, so with that, it's about time that we start working on the body itself. Now, luckily, this is actually gonna be quite easy. What we're gonna do is we're gonna place a block right here. We're gonna do the same old strategy we've done about a thousand times. Set our skill tool to 0 0.2 and start rotating. 0 0.8 6 scale. We're gonna make this a nice, nice and smooth little circle. Kaboom, just like so. Okay, skill tool 1.72. Bing, bang, bong, boom, baby. Skill tool two, or sorry, skill tool 1.8. Turn it back into a full circle. All right then, so now I just gotta clone it. Rotate, move it back in place, and we got ourselves a full circle. Now, all we have left to do is to turn this into a full circle. So we're going to clone it and rotate and then move everything back in place. Now, as you guys can see, this right here is starting to turn into a perfect ball because the bottom of half of our body is just literally a perfect ball. So we had to make a perfect ball. And that right there is exactly what we were looking for, a perfect ball. Oh my God, that actually, that actually looks really good. Now, that right there is starting to turn into Bommy Long Leg. That is an amazing. <laughs> All right, then, guys, for the actual chest, I'm going to try something a little bit different that I actually haven't done before. But first, we're going to take our previous half circle. We're actually going to take the entire top half off. All right, drop the same half to the top, just like so. And let's start sculpting a custom top half. All right, that right there is looking pretty good for the bottom half. All right, there it is. Now, currently, this looks probably a little bit weird, but trust me, this is going to come together once we actually start cloning this thing. So yeah, that right there is going to be the torso. It is quite a bit bigger than the actual uh, stomach. I don't know, man. Her body really weird. <laughs> but yeah, trust me, guys. This is going to come together super well. Oh, yeah, baby. There it is. That right there is exactly what I was looking for. As you guys can see, it is not a perfect circle. It's a little bit squished. It's a little bit like, like it kind of like shrinks in at the bottom and also kind of shrinks in at the top. And that perfectly leads us to giving her a head. But before we do that, we actually have to go and uh, move this all into place. All right. Come on. Okay, wait, actually. It's, it's a little bit too much space in between.
queen. Oh, that is looking... Oh, that is looking perfect. Okay, that is actually starting to look super sick. Now, guys, funnily enough, building her head is actually going to be super simple because it is literally just a half circle. She doesn't even have, like, a round head. It's a circle. Oh, my God. Wait. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, actually, I haven't even funnier idea. So previously we have controlled this uh, device. I don't know. Uh, it's it's kind of transformed a little bit from what it was previously. It was previously a mech. Now it's uh, more of a... I don't really know what I'd call this thing, to be honest. But okay, okay, okay. Here is my idea, guys. Let's see if I can get this just right. Okay, that is way too high. Okay, perfect. Okay, that is... <laughs> that is looking pretty much flawless. Now, guys, this was my thinking here, right? Recently, Chill Throw has actually added these little things called red candies. Actually, it's not been that recent. It's been a little while ago, last Halloween. But what we can actually do is we can pretty much set everything to normal except the head. <laughs> and if I'm not mistaken, if I now eat that. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, wait. It's actually a little bit too big that way. But uh, yeah, like an in-between size is going to be perfect. Now to actually pull this off, we're going to have to design our head a little bit. So let's actually do that. Oh my God, wait. This could be the moment. Mommy, Jesse TC comes to life. <laughs> You know what? Let's just freaking do it, man. You know, we can build it. mommy long legs every day of the week. The Jesse TC long legs. You only get one of those chances every day, you know? So I'm going to set the head skill to 1.5 and everything else just to 1. I'm going to have to hide myself a little bit more in there. Just give it a little bit of touch up. Like, just like that. Yes. Okay, that is already much better. All right, let's eat this. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, that is so dumb. I love it. <laughs> All right, baby. There it is. <laughs> All right, guys. I think with that, we are fully done. <laughs> All right, guys, so if I'm not mistaken, all we should have to do is create ourselves a little bit of a clock right here. So let's make the clock, boom, boom, just like so, going into each other. And then one of these activating each and every single one of these things. There you go. One, one into there, one into there, one into there, and then one into there. Perfect. And then all we should have to do is actually connect that to that. All right. Well, then, guys, on that note, let's actually freaking do this thing. So here we go, baby. All right, baby. We're in place. Here we go, man. The moment of truth. Unanchor all. Oh, my God. We are currently balancing. Oh, my God. Wait. Okay. So our, our, our mech is pretty slinky. I like the real thing, to be honest, but maybe just a little bit too slinky. <laughs> All right, let's actually stiffen them up just a little bit. Surfo torque. Yeah, okay. that's a little bit more like it. Yeah, I kind of like the slinkiness. You know what? You know what? Screw it. I like the slinkiness. I don't mind looking like a messed up little thing. <laughs> All right, activate. Okay, yeah, we are definitely too slinky. <laughs> Okay, let's only set the bottom ones to orange. Oh my god! We are running! We are walking! Oh my god. <laughs> Look at this abomination. Oh my god, I love it. I freaking love it. I am officially the most terrifying looking thing on the planet. <laughs> Yeah. Now the pink monster would like some pink candy. Oh, I no. Oh, don't click on those cameras. All right, we got a pink candy. Eat. Oh wait, what, what have I done? Oh my god, I almost broke. Ah, I think I broke my leg. Oh no. Yeah, I've definitely hurt something physically. Something has been physically hurt. Okay, it has been fixed. It has been fixed. Jesse making mommy legs. Mmm, that's us. <laughs> How did they know? They knew instantly. Ah, Mac, he's attacking us. Okay, what if I what if I just grab them? What if I just yoink them and shove them into the water? <laughs> no, my friend. No, you shall not. No, no, no. You are coming back here, buddy. Come back, buddy. What is that? That looked kind of like a nuke. Oh, God. It's been attached. Ah! Um, okay, I'm getting scared. Oh, my God. There are multiple people trying to rip me apart. Oh, just he got me. He's killing me. Ah! Die. <laughs> ah! What? I think the server just crashed. That nuke right there literally killed me and the server. <laughs> well, guys, with that, I'm going to be ending off today's video. If you haven't already, please check out the merchandise. We got some epic new stuff in the store that you should check out, including this mouse pad right here honestly very excited to get mine i love the design that, it, that we ended up going with so please check it out uh, link in the description or if not i'll see you later boys Peace.